Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, my dear students. Here is your mathematics teacher, Muhammad Amjad Sayyid, from Pakistan International School, Taif, Saudi Arabia. Today we will continue our lecture number 18, exercise 7.1 from first year exercise. And uh, we have question number 5 according to your review syllabus. The question is, experiment. A die is rolled. The top shows even happening three or four dots. So whenever the die is rolled, there are total possible outcomes which are six. So three or four. So question number five. Total possible outcome. is equal to 6 <coughs> event happening three or four dots three or four dots so what will be the probability what is the probability of three or four <coughs> therefore probability of 3 or 4 that will be equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 2 over 6 is equal to 1 by 3 basically out of 6 possible outcomes 3 will place for 1 value and 4 also can place 1 value so out of 6 uh, probability mean the total uh, possible outcome over total outcome. Possible outcome over total possible outcome. So here is for 3, this is 1 over 6. For 4, 1 over 6, you add them to get uh, 1 over 3. So this is your probability. And the next point is dots less than 5. <coughs> Dots less than 5. Dot less than 5 means what are the possibility? 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, probability dots less than 5 that will be equal to for 1, this is 1 over 6, 2, 1 over 6, 3, 1 over 6. And 4 is 1 over 6. So you can have 4 over 6 is equal to 2 by 3. So dear students, that was your answer. After that, we have question number 7. Experiment. Two dice, one red and other blue, are rolled simultaneously. The number of dots on the tops are added. The total of two score is 5, then 7, then 11. Question number 7. <coughs> Remember that if two dice are rolled at the same time, what is the number of total possible outcomes? Total possible outcome will be 6 here. 6 into 6, that will be 36. So this is known as n of s is equal to 36. And event happening is, what is the possibility that total is 5? Total is equal to 5. Remember that what will be the possibility? 5 is 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4, and 4, 1. So these are the possibilities to have addition of 5. So you can say possibility of number of possibilities for the even happening is 4. What is the total number of possibility? So
So here we can have probability of A is equal to number of A over number of S. Number of S means total sample, sample space or set S. So N of A is 4, this is 36, that will be 1 over 9. I hope that for addition 7, so in case of point number 2, sum of dots is equal to 7, <coughs> that what will be? Sum of dots is equal to 7 means, here we can have 2, 4, 4, 2, no, no, no. 2, 5 and 5, 2 because sum is 7. 2, 5, 5, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, then 1, 6, 6, 1, like that. Actually, sum of the dots must be equal to 7. <coughs> 1, 6, 6, 1. 2, 5, 5, 2. Then, 3, 4, 4, 3. So, what you will say, N of S is 36. N of A is 6. So, what is the probability of A? N of A over N of 6. S. 6 over 36. That will be 1 over 6. So, dear students, in this way, you can find the other part. After that, we have question number 10. In question number 10, a coin is tossed four times. A coin is tossed four times. Times. The tops show event happening all heads, two heads and two tails. We have question number 10 of this exercise. Question number 10. A coin is tossed four times. We have for example head tail and head tail, head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. So these are two coins, these are two coins, they are tossed together. But if there are four coins at the same time, then you can have head head, Head tail, tail head, and tail tail. Then again we have head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail. Dear students, these are two kinds with head and tail. The total possibilities for two kinds are four. And if the four kinds are tossed, then the closer total possibility will be uh, head 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 tail tail head and tail tail cross with this number Cartesian product. So here we can have head 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 tail head head tail head 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 tail tail. After that, we have head tail, 
हेड 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 टेल हेड टेल हेड टेल टेल हेड देन हेड टेल 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 सिमिलरली टेल हेड 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 टेल हेड हेड टेल देन टेल टेल हेड हेड टेल टेल हेड टेल हेड यस आफ्टर दैट टेल हेड टेल 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 हेड हेड टेल टेल हेड टेल हेयर इज टेल 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 हेड टेल 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 डियर स्टूडेंट्स this is the possible outcomes for four coins tossed at the same time that was actually question number 10 what is the total possibilities n of s 4 4 4 and 4 they are 16 total possibilities are 16 so what is the first part first part is all heads there is only one possibility to have all heads therefore n of a is equal to 1 so probability of a is equal to n of a number of a over number of s total this is 1 over 16 second part is two heads two tails from this table we can check how many two heads and two tails two head and two tail this one two head two tail two head two tail Two head, two tails. Two head, two tails. And two head, two tails. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, what is the possibility for two heads and two tails? N of A is equal to six. N of S was sixteen. Therefore, probability of A. Is equal to n of a over n of s. Total outcome and above is favorable outcome. So this is six over sixteen, three over eight. <coughs> this is your answer of question number ten. I hope that you understood. After this, dear students, we have exercise seven point six, and we have only one question in seven point six. That is question number three. In question number three, the eggs supplied by the poultry farm during a week broke during transit as follows. we have 7.6 exercise <coughs> yes 7.6 exercise Question number three. The question is: In seven days during a week, X supplied by poultry farm broke during the week, and daily broken flax uh, X were given. So now we will find. The probability of X broken per day. 
Now, probability of x broken per day. That is one percent, one percent, two percent, one and a half percent. This is one plus two plus one and a half. <coughs> half plus one plus two plus one. Half plus one plus two plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven days. Here we have divided by seven because these are seven days. So one percent. You can have this one as percent. Now you add them. One and a half plus half is two, four, five. Six, seven, and nine. Nine over seven percent. This is the percentage of broken eggs per day. For example, find the probability of eggs that broken a day. Calculate the number of eggs that was broken during transit, and that was seven thousand. Seven thousand eggs were shifted. So, what is the probability of broken? So, definitely, probability of broken eggs. Probability. Separately and then add, you will get your answer. 
And if we have A and B, second possibility, if A and B are overlapping, or B is contained in A or A contained in B. B is contained in A or A contained in B. In case of overlapping, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B because this probability of A intersection B is a, it is common in both. So that's why we will not count them two times. So that's why P of A, P of B minus P of A intersection B then you can find the probability of A union B. So dear students, keeping in mind these rules for disjoint and disjoint and overlapping are one is a subset of other. So here exercise 7.7, .7, question number 1. If sample space If sample space is, that is, actually its name may be written as S, that is said. Sample space contains members 1, 2, 3, up to so on, 9. And A is 2, 4, 6. A is 2, 4, 6 and 8. And B is 1, 3, and 5. So, dear students, you can check A and B are disjoint. Nothing is common in both. So, here is N of S is equal to 9. N of A is equal to 4. N of B is equal to 3. So we will have probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. What is probability of A? N of A over N of S plus N of B over N of S. What about N of A? 4 over 9 plus 3 over 9 that will be 7 over 9 I hope that you understood this question this is because they were in a disjoint and we are using this formula after that we have question number 3 and question number 4, 5 6 question number 3 and question number 4 5 and 6 so I am taking question number 3 out of 4, 3, 4 and 5 they are similar A natural number is chosen out of first 50 natural numbers. What is the probability that the chosen number is multiple of 3 or multiple of 5? So definitely, question number 3, n of s is equal to 50. Total number of sample space that is 50 and the event A is even multiple of 3 A is equal to multiple of 3 so you can have 3 1 the 3, 3 2 the 6 
3, 3 is the 9 up to so on. 3, 16, the 48. So these are multiple of 3. So you can check n of a is equal to 16. 16, 3, the 48. So that's why total number are 16. After that, b is multiple of 5. b is the event happening is multiple of 5. So here we can have 5 on the 5, 5 to the 10, 5 to the 15, up to so on, 5 tens the 15. So what will be n of b? That is 10. Dear students, here we have what are the members which are common in both? Basically, you may have 3, 5 to 15 and here is 15. So N of A intersection B is how many members are there? There are 5, 3 is the 15, 5, 6 the 30, 5, 9 the 45, 15, 30 and 45. That is number 3. So dear students, what is the possibility now? You know that we have the formula for the overlapping. This formula will be overlapping. In 50, multiple of 3, then multiple of 5, and common between multiple of 3 and 5. They are common between multiple of 3 and 5. So using property of A union B is equal to property of A plus property of B minus probability of A intersection B. What about probability of A? N of A over N of S plus N of B over N of S minus N of A intersection B over N of S. So dear students, we will have 16 over 50 plus 10 over 50 minus 3 over 50. Here is 26 minus 3, 23 over 50. That is your answer. I hope that you understood this question. That was your question number 3 out of 4 and 5. After that, after that we have question number 6 and 7. Question number 6. Two dice are thrown. What is the probability that the sum of numbers of dots appearing on them is 4 and 6? 4 and 6. So we have, we have to find the probability. Basically, in two dice are thrown and each dice will have 6 possibility. So that will be 6 here. Here you can have n of s is equal to 36. Then the probability is a sum is 4. So even a is sum is 4 you can say we have 1 3 3 1 2 2. Sum is 4. So what about n of a? That is 3. Then after that, what is the next? Sum is 6. B is equal to sum is 6. Sum is 6. So here you can have 1, 5, 5, 1. 2, 4, 4, 2. Then 
थ्री थ्री वन फाइव फाइव वन टू फोर फोर टू थ्री थ्री देन वी हैव यस देर आर दिस इज द पॉसिबिलिटी हाउ मेनी आर दे एन ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव so according to data we can check that we have the possibility for this joint definitely 6 and 4 are this one they are this one 6 and 4 are this one No number is common in them. Therefore, we can have using probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Probability of A is n of A over n of S plus n of B over n of S. N of A is Three over thirty-six plus five over thirty-six. That will be eight over thirty-six. So I hope that this will be your answer. This was your question number seven. After that, we have question number eight. Question number eight. In case of question number eight, there are ten girls and twenty boys in a class. Ten girls and twenty boys in a class. Half the boys and half the girls have blue eyes. Find the probability that one student chosen as monitor is either a girl or has blue eyes. so in the class total number of possible outcomes will be 30 because 10 girls and 20 boys So, what is the probability 
What is the probability that the student is blue eyed student? Therefore, here is you can say n of b is equal to 50. Probability of b is probability of b is n of b over n of s 15 over 30 that will be 1 over 2. This is 1 over 2. So what is the common in both? Definitely in blue eyed students, in blue eyed students there are 5 and here are 10. So definitely 5 from girls and 5 from boys are different. But 5 will be common in both. Possibility. Therefore, probability of A intersection B is equal to 5 over 30. That will be equal to 1 over 6. Hence, probability of A union B, probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. That is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 6. Dear students, it will be, uh, you can take LCM 2 plus 3 minus 1. That will be 4 over 6 and 2 over 3. So dear students, that was your exercise 7.7 .7, and it is finished. I hope that you understood these questions. Uh, they are basically based on the ideas that the sets are disjoint and overlapping. We have applied these formulas in this way. I hope that you understood and uh, those parts I left for you. You can devise at home, complete them and if you have any problem, contact me. Okay, Allah Hafiz and Assalamu Alaikum.